We're just going to do a quick demo on the Jape software to show you around the menus and how you sort of set things up, how you can add your own formulas and how you might go about starting to solve some of these natural deduction problems. So the first thing you'll do when you open up Jape is you'll see this uh, Jape control panel here. And uh, as the online tutorial shows you, uh, your first step is to open a new theory and load up the natural deduction uh, folder that's given. So you should have a zip file that you've downloaded and expanded on your own computer. And inside of that, you have this one file here for the theory that we use in the course. Uh, now, when you have this uh, set of conjectures, you're able to add new ones um, as you might need to solve for the assignments and for the quizzes, most likely we'll send you individual files that you'll be able to load with the conjectures that you need to solve and the, the deduction proofs that you need to do, uh, but you can add your own as well. And so this is what the new conjecture window uh, kind of looks like. You have the individual symbols that you might need to use along here, as well as uh, keyboard input. So we're going to prove something fairly simple. E. Uh, let's say we have E conjoined with F as one, and we have an implication between, uh, let's say F and G, and we want to deduce the fact that G holds. Right? So this is a, a fairly simple, straightforward one. It adds it here as a new conjecture, and we can open up and try to solve it. Now this window is the individual proof window, and you'll see the steps are automatically numbered for you. The, uh, the rules that you apply are listed on the right, and it's uh, primarily driven through most clicks and uh, figuring out what you want to apply next. And so um, similar to the course, how we'll describe forward reasoning steps as well as backward reasoning steps, we have a set of forward uh, rules that you might apply in deduction and backward rules that you might apply. And so in this particular proof, we want to uh, deduce G from the set of premises that we have up here. So let's start by looking at E and F and let's get F out of there. So a forward application of the elimination, uh, uh, conjunction elimination rule is what we'll use. We remove that and we now get F. So from E and F, we can deduce that F must hold. Now from F implies G and from F together, we can imply that G holds. But I just wanna show what happens if you don't uh, select things the right way. You get a little bit of information here. So say I try to apply forward and negation remo removal. Uh, it gives you a little bit of explanation here as to why it can't perform that step. And you can hit the huh button and it will give you a little more explanation about what's going on. Sometimes this can be quite useful. Sometimes it can be entirely misleading. So be careful in, um, as you're trying to figure out these deduction proofs, um, how you read into those extra bits of information. So we know that if we want to get G here from F and we want to remove this implication, we're going to apply a rule that allows us to say these two things, and I control select both of them, forward here to do the implication elimination. Now automatically, if you've deduced everything that you need to, it will close off and you'll have no more um, sort of open parts of the proof. And you'll see here, we've gone through steps one, two, three, our premises are at the top. We used conjunction elimination with 1.1. This means it's the first premise from the first rule. And then we used uh, the implication elimination with 1.2, so the implication over here, and rule number two. And so these proof rules, or these proofs that you create, these are what we're going to be asking you to submit, uh, again, for the assignments, for the quizzes, and that sort of thing. Um, and so you can export your proof here, which will export it as a, a proof image, a PS file. So that's one way to go about it. You can take a screenshot as well, but uh, what we're really asking for, for a lot of these, um, is going to be saving the proofs. And so you can save the proof as a particular uh, type of file, test.jp, and when you save this, it's a file that will be able to load up and then mark what it is that you've done. Now, if you haven't been able to fully prove what it is that we've asked, um, then go as far as you can and still save the proof what it is that you have there and upload it. And what we'll be asking is in the description to explain the reasoning steps that you did. If it's not complete, then there will still be uh, triple dots inside. So if I undo this, you can see there's still a space between uh, steps two and step three. So you can describe the fact that, you know, you wanted to break down the E and the F through conjunction elimination, but you couldn't figure out where to go from there. And this is what will allow you to get partial marks on some of these deduction proofs. Um, so that's kind of a whirlwind tutorial of uh, what you might see inside of JAPE and what we're going to be using. Uh, just to close off here, you could record the proof that you've done 
And you'll see here that it has been recorded inside of the set of conjectures. And so for problem sets and for this sort of thing that we'll release, you can see which ones you've done and open them up again uh, to start a new proof or to show the proof that you've come up with. Um, so hopefully that gives you a, a quick sense of uh, JAPE and how we're going to be using it. Um, and this is going to be the same software for both the, uh, the first and the third components of this course where we're doing natural deduction for propositional logic and predicate logic.